Welcome back to another Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on this wicked AMX Pro Stalker. So this is a Matchbox super fast. So we are going to have to try to fill out these wheel wells, which is a tall, tall order. I don't really have a huge plan for this one yet. So far I want to do the tricolor, you know, the red, white, and blue. Classic amc paint job and then i think i'm gonna just coat this thing with like mom and pop sponsors you know like jerry's oil change and jebediah's square bale service and michael's upholstery you know so do mom and pop sponsors nice paint job and i've got some of these thick boy m2 wheels i think are gonna look cool on there glue 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 big toyos and then these little front ones are still pretty thick but a little bit bigger than what's on there so it should help that wheel well out a little bit i think these will look good on there especially if my paint job works out we will just see how it goes it's the worst that could happen if we wreck it we'll just run back to quinn's yard and grab another one very carefully dee, 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 dee. bunch of glue on the bottom that's from me Now we're gonna need a persuader. Interesting. Tail lights also are interior. Baby, don't be like that. How are these gonna fit? These things are just completely scuffed. Check it out, check it out, check it out. The coolest one of these AMX Pro Stalkers I could find was actually the uh, the Dr. Pepper one, I would say. They never really painted any of them real cool, which is a shame. So we're gonna try to do it right today, and uh, no guarantees, but I a couple little things I wanna fix up on here. These body lines. That's where my tape line has to go for the paint job, so I wanna get rid of this part down here. Other than that, She's a pretty nice. So let me just fix this up quick. And I'm gonna clean up this edge right here too. It's got a nasty one of these on each side. Yeah, I think our, uh, our sanding preparations are complete. Now I just want to make sure we got enough clearance for these big old tires. So I might open up these wheel wells just a smidge. Just trying to get a gauge of how it's going to look. Yeah, I don't think there's any harm in putting those big tires in there. The way this, like, if this front end is just scraping, I think the angle of the dangle is good. One of these green stone bits came with my engraving kit. I'm just gonna use that and open these up just a little bit. Man, let's do this. So I ended up throwing an axle tube in the back just to hold these big meats in place. So I uh, like that. I gotta put some shims, some spacers just to keep my wheels where they need to be. And the back's fine. Glee 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 glee. Sweet. Now this thing's a total wide body, eh? Look at that thing, Jakarta style. Gleek, 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 gleek. Hell yeah. All right. So that took a little while, but. So the plan is, is I'm going to go paint this white. Now I'm going to clear coat it. And then we're going to come back, color, color, decal the whole thing. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and do the big final clear coat. So first things first, we'll go to the spray booth. We'll do a gloss white and a clear coat and then I'm going to cure that quick and then I will come back and we'll start doing some taping.
All right, I've completed the work I want to do on this base. So I'm gonna go paint this black and give it a clear coat. Okay, our AMX is back from paint. Our clear coat is dry enough where we can do some taping. So I want to start dividing this up into the classic AMX colors. Red in the back, white in the middle, blue in the front. I'm gonna use some little vinyl strips as always to start chopping this thing up into some pieces. All right, check this out. I got the back half pretty well masked off. This is going to be our red section. See our little mini stripe on the roof. Should all look real good. So I'm going to just finish masking off the front of the car and then I'll meet you in the spray booth and we'll go paint this back end red and we'll come back, we'll mask the front off and then we'll do the blue. Hell yeah, it's looking good so far. You guys might not know what I'm up to, but I'm putting the javelin style stripe on the front of this thing. I know it's a little bit hard to see the silver on the white, but uh, just bear with me. We're almost done here. A couple more little strips and then I'll just mask. Finish up our masking, and then I can go do our blue. Oh, that'd be nice. Does it fit? So I'm at the point now here where I'm gonna just start masking the rest of the car, and then we can go spray this blue. And then it's decal time. We're gonna put on a whole ton of decals. Really make this thing look cool. If you like decals, you come to the right place. Sweet, big old bag hanging off the back of my car. Cool, so I think we're ready. I put some plastic over the back end here so I don't, I don't wanna put a bunch of tape all over this red paint I did. This is ready to go. So let's mix some blue. All right, so this color actually pretty well matches the darker three color AMX paint jobs that some people do. And this color matches the lighter AMX paint jobs that some racers do. So I wanna do something in between. So I think we're just gonna darken this up with a little bit of this crazy Pilates blue or whatever this is called. I think that looks good. That's a real nice AMX looking blue. Shows up a little bit darker for me. You guys are getting a little bit of that studio lighting. So you think it's this color, but it is not. It is darker, see? See? I like it. I think this is gonna be just perfect. I gotta thin this out with a little bit of reducer, but other than that, I think we're okay to go spray. So let me take the car. And we'll take this, and we'll take this.
Didn't expect that to be that big. Brunner Bros. Brunner Bros. Speed Equipment. That one looks pretty good over the wheel well like that. Sweet. I like it. Mm -hmm. I've got these Pops ones. I thought they might be cool. I don't know. They're kind of big. I kind of wanted to do like Pops engine rebuilding. I don't know if it's going to work though. I might not have room for it right now. I'll just add engine rebuilding to this brand. I'm going to say right down here is a real nice looking, some real nice real estate for an SO. Or would it be better on the fenders? I'll put it back here. I got some other ones I want to put more forward. Little headman headers. What else we got here? Boop. Bruner Brothers Speed Equipment Engine Rebuilders. Sweet. Looks looking pretty legit, I gotta say. Alright, I got one picked out for the back with no rhyme or reason, really. It just kind of fits our theme, kind of. And it's a good size decal with some color. It's DNS Auto Parts. I'm gonna throw that right up here on the old trunkaroo. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, she's really looking like something now, I gotta say. I've been kind of saving this area right here. I want to put a number in there. But I gotta make it first. And I'd also like to put something maybe here. Do 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 do. Alright, I'm gonna start on the other side here. I'm not gonna film the whole thing because, uh, well, you guys just watched it. So I might as well do this one myself because it's just gonna be a repeat. Alright. I've got both sides decaled up here. She's looking pretty serious. I even did a little bit on the front here. So I'm going to jump on my computer, going to print out some number decals, and we'll glue those on quick, and then we'll do some clear coating, and that should be beautiful on this car, hopefully. I decided to go with number three. Base. Boom. Beautiful. Sweet, so I'm going to let this dry completely and then we're going to do a clear coat and then I think we're going to be able to do an assembly. So let me go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll get this dry. I'll meet you in the spray booth for a clear coat and then we'll come back and do an assembly. Hell yeah, look at that thing. All right, it's time to do a little assembly here. Here's our body. It's looking beautiful. Gleek, 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 gleek. Holy smokes, check that thing out. It looks pretty good, right? Let's get it up on the rotisserie. Have a little better look at it. I didn't have much of a plan going into this project, but I kind of just went with the javelin race vibe, and yeah, I mean, this is where we ended up, so. So what do you guys think of the AMX Pro Stalker? I like doing these race car builds. I think it turned out pretty sweet. I like the black wheels and the black pipes. Kind of goes well together. Turned out pretty sweet, I think. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and uh, leave a comment for the algorithm gods. Jimmy and Marco should be heading out to go find a new project soon, so stay tuned for that video. Keep your stick on the ice, and I will see you in the next video. Later.